What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Govington, and this is Will You Press the Button? Now, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers playing this and posting it on their channels, and I thought it'd be a really cool and fun time to do it myself and post my own video about it. And essentially, all it is is just if I press the button, it says I will get the thing on the left, but the, uh, the thing on the right will also happen. And I also have the option to say I will not. It's not all just press the button saying yes. So, like for example, this first one. You have the house of your dreams, furniture, etc. all included, but it's in Mogadishu, Somalia. And I apologize for that because I probably butchered that name. But um, I don't know a whole lot, I'm just gonna say, I don't know a whole lot about Somalia and Mogadishu. But uh, I, if I were, my house of my dreams is definitely not there. It's somewhere else where there's hardly anybody else. So, uh, um, I'm just gonna get to say no, just because it's location. I'm just nothing against that. Oh, apparently a lot of people do not like that. You have a nice house, good car, and loads of money, but you're on the Jersey Shore for the rest of your life. So does that mean I'm stuck on the Jersey Shore, or all my stuff that I have is on the Jersey Shore? Because if all my stuff's on the Jersey Shore and I can go travel places, I'd probably be okay with that. I don't know what the Jersey Shore is like. I've been to New Jersey, I think, once, and I got yelled at when I was crossing the street, which is weird. But I feel like it wouldn't be a bad thing to have all the stuff that you want on the Jersey Shore. I could do YouTube there if I have all the money I, I could want with a nice house that's all padded up and nobody would hear me. <laughs> loads of money. Well, what does loads of money entail? Does that mean, is it, that sounds like it's finite, like it ends at some point. I think I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with yes. Why not? We'll go for it. Oh, here's a good one. You could fly, but you can never touch the ground again. Ooh. How would... Well, I guess you'd never have to do cardio. I mean, if you really think about it, you could like hover close to the ground. Like you could still see your friends and family. You could hug them and say hello, but you could fly places. Like, you can go anywhere. I, I don't know if you'd have to go with the laws of air travel or anything. You probably would have to, but it doesn't, it doesn't mention that. I'm gonna go with yes. I wanna fly. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> and apparently a lot of people agree with me for that. Cool! You get to attend the school of your dreams, but you get decent grades, you have to stay up all night, every night. I mean, I kind of already stay up for pretty late already, so I, that wouldn't be that much of a problem. And I'm pretty good at getting up in the morning, although lately not really, but usually I can get up pretty quickly. I did it when I was at school anyway. I would be up and I'd just be like, alright, we're done, we're, our, we're ready to go. Let's do this thing, let's get it over with. But I really don't want to go to school. Okay, school doesn't suck, but I, I was I was always that kid in class that never once paid attention to anything and still managed to get pretty good grades. That's humble brag, I know. But like in high school, I didn't pay a lick of attention to any single one of my classes. College, I kind of had to, but it was still super difficult because my attention was always elsewhere and I'd be doodling and I'd be talking to my friends. I'd sneak out my phone when I could. So I'm going to say no, I don't want to go to school. I'd, I've already been through enough school as it is. You can pause time, which already has me sold. That's my po superpower of choice. But you age twice as fast when time is paused. Well, if time is paused, you don't age. So would that mean that when you unpause time, you age twice as fast? So each time you pause time, you accelerate your age faster? That, may, that would be the only logical reason, because if you stop time, you can't age. There's no possible way you can age. It'd be kind of weird if you just like, your friend was able to stop time and they just stopped time and they suddenly started aging faster and you would have no idea because they've been there the whole time or so you think, or they would just disappear, like just boop, pop out of nowhere. You could really scare some people with that. I'm gonna go with yes, cause I would really be fun to stop time and kind of mess around with things in a legal way, legal way, of course. Oh gosh, here we go. Everything would smell delicious for you, but you would change gender every time you sneeze. That's one entirely unrelated with each other and kind of interesting. Like, I mean, you get to experience what the opposite, what all these different genders would be. Now that we've kind of reconstructed what gender is, you get to experience just everything. That'd be kind of interesting. It'd be a, an experience for sure. I don't know if I'd really like everything to smell delicious though. Like you're just walking down the sidewalk and there's a bush right next to you and it smells like a brownie. That'd be kind of weird. You can't eat the bush, but it still smells good to you. And all of a sudden you're hungry. Like what if you go and take a shit? 
Like, that would smell good to you. Or if someone farts, you'd just be like, oh. I don't, eh, I don't even think that the first one is a, a good one, so no, I'm gonna, no, uh-uh. Why would you want it? I don't, I don't get it. You will have an unlimited amount of food, water, electricity, and internet. I guess internet's a, a necessity now. <laughs> Provided for the rest of your life, but all clothing except socks and shoes will cease to exist. I am so pushing that button. I hate clothing. I think clothing sucks. It's confining. I'm comfortable sometimes, or most of the time. It's good for the winter. That's about it. Just staying warm. I don't like wearing clothes. <laughs> I, I haven't grown out of that phase in my life. You may tie your life to one person who will fall madly in love with you, but your life is forever tied to this person, which means that you will die the moment they do, and should any problems occur, you may not bond with another. Wait. Your life is forever tied to this person, which means that you will die the moment they do. Should any problems occur, you may not bond with another. Oh, but does that mean that person is bonded to me, or am I just bonded to them? Because if I was just bonded to them, that would kind of suck. That would be horrible. Because they could just go off and do whatever the hell they want to. I guess they are madly in love with me, though, so that wouldn't necessarily mean that they would go, like, cheat or anything. So far as we know. Some people define love in different ways. I don't know, I feel like that's there's kind of like a win-win there. I don't see a, a, I really don't see a downside to that. Like, if problems occur, work it out. That's how a relationship works. Everything's not always going to be hunky-dory in a relationship. You, you Sometimes you fight. And it's just to settle things out, to get things out on each other. I'm going to put, I'm going to push that button. I think it's a good idea. I'm so down for it. You have unlimited skips on Pandora. R.I.P. But you can only listen to the station your parents pick. Uh, hmm. My mom really likes country music nowadays. She's really into the country music thing, which I'm okay with. I used to be really obsessed with country music for a little while, and it was like I was I was riding high and whatever with it. But like, I it kind of ran its its I don't know flavor out on me, it ran its taste. I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but essentially I just got tired of it. Like I can listen to it, I'd be okay with it. I'd probably find a couple songs I like, and I, if I have unlimited skips, so I could just find it again. My dad has good taste in music. He has really good taste in music. So I mean, I'll go. I'm, I'll go with yes. It's just Pandora. It's not like it's gonna affect the rest of my life. You can stop and start time at will, and still move around freely, but you continue to age at a normal rate while time is stopped for everyone else. That goes back to the other question. It's like the same thing. But uh, I mean. Yeah, I probably wouldn't stop time for that long. It's not like I'm gonna stop time and just like go wander for what would be a year or whatever. You wouldn't be able to know though. So, screw it. Yeah, I wanna be able to stop time. I think it'd be fun. I could, like, stop myself from saying something stupid. You have the ability to create things with your mind that last while you're conscious, but you black out every time the thing you create brings happiness. Oh! I, everything would be black for a long time then, I guess. Cause that's like, that's like what I would want to do. I just uh, make everybody happy with things. You have the ability to create things with your mind. Why would you not want to do that? Now you can make something that makes somebody happy. And if that brings them happiness, you black out. Oh, this one comment down here is pretty good. Only problem is as soon as you black out, the thing you made stops existing. So what if that happens? That's a no-go. I'm going to say nah. There's no way. All right, we'll do one more. You will meet the person of your dreams and you will both fall in love together, but you'll both die 20 years later being tortured together by a neo-Nazi group? That, what? That escalated really quickly. <laughs> you will meet the person of your dreams and you will both fall in love together. I mean, that's, that's nice, but I don't want to be tortured. Like, if you knew that you were going to be tortured in 20 years from that day that you fell in love with this person, that's horrible. Like, one, you know when it happens, you know what's about to happen, and you know it has to happen because you signed up for this. <laughs> this comment down here, what if Hitler is the person of my dreams, why would the Nazis torture me then? I guess that's a loophole. I'm gonna go, no, screw that. I, no way. Yeah, I I agree with you people. So that is, will you press the button? Just a, It's just a simple game on the internet that you just sit yes or no about. It's actually a lot of fun. I think it'd be a great time with like a bunch of people together and then you can have like discussions with each person. But I just wanted to try it. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do it, like I said, and I wanted to make my own video about it. So 
huge thank you to all of you watching. If you're feeling charitable today, go check out those links in the description down below. I love you very much, and we'll see you in the next one.